Good afternoon. My name is Myra Salazar, Public Affairs Specialist for the Solar Security Administration in the Chicago metropolitan area. I'm very happy to be your host today for this edition of the Solar Security Hotline Show. And I would like to welcome uh, to Jeanette Cummings, DJ, uh, as my guest today. And would you introduce yourself to our viewers, please? Sure, sure. Hi, everyone. My name is DJ Cummings. I am a local uh, Social Security representative at one of the local offices in Chicago. Uh, primarily specialize in supplemental <coughs> Social Security income. And just want to welcome you today to our show. I would like to remind our viewers that the phone lines are open and this is a, a live interactive call-in program that's brought to you by Can TV uh, Channel 21 to discuss all Social Security matters. We invite you to call in with all your burning questions today and we have uh, Mr. Anthony Fraser, who's our phone technician that is waiting for all your phone calls. That number is 312-738-1060, and it will always be on the bottom of your screen. So with that said, let's get started. DJ, did you know that to help combat identity theft and uh, fraud, mm -hmm. uh, Social Security no longer issues Social Security um, printouts? Um, and, you know, they used to be very common before. They did. Really, and I still have people asking me for those uh, Social Security number printouts, but we don't provide them anymore. And if you need verification of your Social Security number, you will have to apply for a, a replacement Social Security card. And that's very um, easy to do. Isn't that right? It's very easy. You just come into the office with your uh, proper valid identification card, passport, um, some other items may be needed if it's a child, and then we'd be happy to provide that um, Social Security card replacement by mail. Uh, yes, and um, it's very easy to do to obtain that Social Security card. Just visit us at www.socialsecurity.gov.gov slash SSN number. So with that, then of course you can um, obtain that um, uh, Social Security card, which is free. And remember that because whenever you visit us, always make sure when you put the address in there, at the end it should be uh, GOV for government because a lot of times I sure. find that people type it in and they end up somewhere else and it's not uncommon to see that um, and sometimes they end up paying money and we want to make sure you know that it is free. So, um, you know, even though um, uh, some people may need a Social Security card either for themselves or for their babies, right? Right. And usually how do we, um, how do parents obtain those Social Security cards for the babies? Well, normally it's actually, um, isn't it initiated in the hospital a lot of times? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, and that's, um, that's probably the best way to do it because uh, you're already in the hospital, you're supplying your personal information to get the birth certificate. And when you do that, you can request the uh, Social Security card as well. That way you don't have to go into the office later on, which is right. very convenient. Right. Um, and then, of course, um, you, while you're at the website, what, what, what else can people do? Um, well, I think one of the most important things is that they can actually print out a Social Security card application from the website and bring that into the office already completed. Um, and it also tells you what uh, IDs actually uh, w will work as far as what you have for, uh, available for your Social Security card application. Um, well, you know, one of the things that we, we, we have to make sure that we talk about that's on our website, of course, is My Social Security. Oh, yes. Uh, my Social Security account is very important because it gives you easy access to your personal information. And I know that when I go out, you know, people want to know. How much will I get in the future? Oh, absolutely. As far and, as retirement. Right. And it's very easy to do. Could you let them know how to establish one? Sure, sure. What you want to do is um, you can, there's a couple options. You want to come into the office uh, with your proper ID and um, let us know that you'd like to set up a MySocialSecurity.gov account. Um, most offices will um, actually have a, a self-help computer where you can go online right there and verify mm -hmm. your account once it's created by one of us. So it allows us to actually talk to you, I always say. Those printouts that we uh, used to send about retirement and disability, uh, we've cut them down tremendously. And um, I know I used to get one every year, but now I don't. 
Um, so I can go through the portal at my, mysocialsecurity.gov. I can check my retirement amount. I can check my uh, disability benefit potential. Absolutely. I can also check my earnings to make sure my earnings that are, will create my retirement are available uh, and correct. So okay. that's a really good thing with the mysocialsecurity.gov. Right, and we're showing them right here how to go in. So when you get into this page, My Social Security account, you can either sign in or create an account. And as a matter of fact, as of June 10th, we, um, we have added an, ex added an extra layer of protection. So um, you either, um, you know, you need to have a cell phone or um, an email address so we can send you uh, um, a security code and then that way when you sign in or you create your account you you can use that code in addition uh, to providing all those um, personal questions so you know people are always looking for safety right and right. and for protection and social security is always protecting you that's our main mission right. is to protect you or your information and um, all your um, uh, uh, personal information that we have of you so that's that's something very important and the other thing is that uh, my Social Security, of course, is the, that first tool that we always talk about, yes, right? It because is. that's going to help you uh, tremendously. But we also have another great tool, and it's the uh, um, Social Security, um, uh, the um, online tool. Uh, retirement estimator. Oh yes, that's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. So so if you use that, it will give you those immediate personalized retirement yeah. benefit estimates, whether it's early retirement or retirement at your full age, or if you want to delay it. Right. And you can actually play around with it. You know, uh, create different scenarios, uh, change your stop work dates. And then also, or expect the future earnings. So you can really uh, play around with it to see how it would affect you. And people say they really like it a lot. Yeah, my favorite part of it, because I'm not really uh, near retirement age yet, it <laughs> actually gives you, lets you know what your retirement age is. Mm -hmm. um, so before you get to the actual what your retirement check will be, um, the system with just a, a few little uh, pieces of information calculates. Um, your early retirement, your full retirement, and your delayed retirement, and all of those ages. So you can say, well, you know, I'm going to work till this point, and I'll get this much. It really allows you to uh, project or forecast the future for yourself. Um, Absolutely. And it's so easy. It's and it's, so yes, easy. it's very easy, and it's important to know also what are your options for retirement. Right. And as we said, uh, early retirement, of course, um, you know, I find that a lot of people get really excited to know that they can retire early at 62. Right. Um, but uh, you have to keep in mind that if you take it early, of course, um, is there will be a reduction, and it could be up to 25%. So, um, you know, as long as you know that, you're right. aware of that, because if you do retire early, you still have to wait until 65 to be eligible for Medicare, and that's something that a lot of people right. really need to think about, because once they know that, they think, oh, wow, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, I may have mm -hmm. to rethink this, you know. Yeah. And then, of course, we have uh, uh, retirement at your full age. Now, it's different for everybody. So uh, this year, you know, 66 uh, plus two months, I believe, um, uh, would, you know, be your 100% of your benefit. And uh, some people do want to wait for that 100%. Right. And some people want to even wait for the delayed retirement. Oh, my God, um, yes. I know that our, our new spokesperson, uh, Susie Orman, talks about uh, delayed mm. retirement. And she talks about having, um, if you have other income or other um, mutual funds or investments or a job that's even paying you, um, that you may want to wait for, you, for your delayed retirement as well. Yes, so. absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people, when they, they, um, they hear about delayed retirement, um, I always give them the example of maybe, you know, you turn uh, your full retirement age, 66, 66 in two months or later, and then um, you decide, hey, you know what, I decided I'll work one more year. Mm -hmm. And for that one more year, you can get approximately 8% mm -hmm. for that additional year mm -hmm. until the age of 70. Mm -hmm. So for some people, that idea, that, that ability to do that is, uh, sounds like a great idea, especially because they have other uh, pensions. Uh, or investments. And, you know, Social Security was never meant to be the only resource. Right. We, ha we have a responsibility, of course, to have additional uh, resources. And then uh, Social Security is just the base. 
and then of course you um, you have to build from that you know so um, with that said I just want to remind you to visit us at www.socialsecurity.gov and um, you know um, make sure that you do go into our website because we have a lot of information but also um, people want to know if they can work oh yes you know? yes and as far as being retirement and working yes oh absolutely. you know if you can work um, and and you can yeah. um, which is really great um, if you retire early of course you know you can certainly do that but there are um, um, earnings limits that you can make yeah it, it kind of all depends and that'd be a great thing to go to our website for www.ssa.gov and look at the frequently asked questions section um, and that would allow you to kind of plug in numbers and see what the earnings limit is for this year. I don't have that memorized, Myra. Yeah. Oh, um, yes. Well, uh, for early retirement, if you return to, to work, then you can make up to uh, 16920 a year. Uh, if you go over that, then we would have to deduct um, $2 for every um, dollar you go over that amount. Right. But um, it, every year it changes. So the, the best advice that mm -hmm. we can give you mm -hmm. is that if you return to work mm -hmm. uh, after you start receiving your retirement benefits, call us yes. uh, or visit our website. Mm -hmm. um, but if you call us to let us know that you're returning to work, then, of course, we can put that information into your record. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have you know, it uh, reported in, 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 to, in your record, and um, you'll know if you went over the actual limit or not. I right. just want to remind everybody that we are on a live call-in show, and we're waiting for you to call us. Our number here is 312-738-1060. Again, that's 312-738-1060. And if you pick up the phone and call us right now, there's no one waiting. It's all for you. Yes, don't forget that, uh, you know, we've been here every week. Yes. And uh, we're always waiting for your questions because this is for you. This information is for you. We want to empower you with information about Social Security because we know how important it is for you. But I just want to show you, if you go into our website, uh, into our retirement planner, we have all the information. Apply on online for retirement, retirement age calculator, um, you know, the earnings test calculator, the earnings um, um, uh, limits that we were talking about. So it's all here, and if you go below that, it actually shows you uh, if you were born um, um, in 1955, your full retirement age is 66 and two months. So you could go all over this information, and I'm sure that you will find it very useful. Um, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's incredible what, what we have. Um, <laughs> on our website and it looks like we have a call so we might as well take it um, because that's what we're waiting for. <laughs> Hello caller. What is your question please? Hello. Hello, Hello caller. Yes. I guess we might have lost no. that one. Okay. So we we might have yeah. we might have lost it. So um, going on to um, some of the, the rest of the information that we have, uh, we talked about um, um, retirement benefits, and I guess, you know, it would be a good idea to talk about Medicare, and Medicare is very important to people because it's our national health plan, and it's available for people who turn 65, and also for people who, even young um, young uh, people who um, become uh, disabled and start getting disability benefits. And it looks like we have a call, so we might as well take it. Um, hello, caller. What is yes. your question, please? Okay, I, I'll be 65 next month, and nobody has sent me anything on Medicare, and they cut me off Social Security in January 2016. And I work now, but I don't make that much money. But I know Medicare is supposed to kick in, and, I, you know, I would like to know something about that. Okay. Um, you know, I wasn't quite sure of the question. Can you repeat it? Uh, what she's saying is that she, um, in January 2016, that she stopped receiving her retirement or pension benefits. I'm not sure okay. which one. And then she's 65 now, so she's going to get a Medicare. She's looking okay, for Okay, so if, if, if you're receiving um, benefits now... Uh, we have an established record for you. 
And what that means is that um, we will automatically know when you will turn 65. So we do automatically send you your Medicare card. Um, it's generally three months before your birthday and it's going to have part A and B. And it will ask you if you want both. If you don't, then you would have to let us know. But you generally, people get it automatically once you start uh, receiving those benefits. So that's why, you know, if I were the one that took early retirement, you, Social Security already has my record, and automatically the system is set up to send me my Medicare card. And I'm glad that you brought up that question because um, the Part A is the part that... Um, covers the, the hospital services, okay. inpatient services, and for that um, there is no premium because you paid for it with your taxes. And there's the Part B um, that you can talk about, um, the, what it, and the services for Part B? Part B? Of Medicare? Uh, with the uh, hospital services you're saying? Uh, well, the Part A is the hospital mm -hmm. services, and then the Part B is the one that covers the doctor visits, um, test, blood tests, examinations, mm -hmm. and it's really important, um, you know, to, to know that because I know that people are very concerned about their health coverage. Um, there is, a, of course, a deductible for the Part B, mm -hmm. um, and that's, I believe, $134 a month. That's the standard premium, but we have a call. Mm -hmm. Hello, caller? Yes. What is your question today? Okay, my question is, I worked for the county for 29 years, okay? I was terminated and my case is in arbitration. I'm 62 years old. I went down to try to file for Social Security, and they told me I didn't have enough points. I believe they told me I had 36 points, and I need 40 points. What should I do? Should I just... Go ahead and just retire from the county with, 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 I would never be able, would that make up the Social Security or do I get both of them? If okay. I, you told me I had to go back to work, in other words. Yeah, did oh. you hear the question? Okay, I know. Um, can you repeat it? Um, so what he's saying is that he only has 36 quarters of coverage for retirement um, and Social Security. And then he's saying that he worked 29 years um, with the county, which does not pay into Social Security. Ooh, okay. um, and so he's currently uh, in a terminated status from, from the county. Yeah. And when he came into the Social Security office, they told him he only had 36 of 40. Yeah, I didn't get the first part, so thanks for repeating that. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, for Social Security benefits, you need to have uh, retirement benefits. You need to have 40 work credits. Mm -hmm. Um, if you have less than that, then you're not entitled to retirement benefits. However, um, you know, if you did have at least 10 years, that's equivalent to 10 years, 40 yeah, credit. Definitely. Uh, if you have a pension coming from, um, you know, a government employer where they, you didn't pay into Social Security, that would affect your Social Security benefit. That would reduce it because we use a special formula. Um, so if you don't have those 40 credits right now, then you have to build up to 40. Um, if you need three or, or, or whatever it is, um, you know, just make sure that you work for those three extra credits. Um, and for this year, one work credit is $1,300. Right. So, um, so, you know, make sure that you, um, you obtain those three credits so that at least you'll be qualified uh, for um, the 10 years. However, remember that your pension from the government um, uh, employer will um, uh, reduce that amount. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say, um, you know, make sure you have a very clear understanding if it's four, credit, four credits that's needed um, because it, it seems like you may be able to find uh, some type of employment that would give you those uh, four credits so that you could uh, possibly get a retirement check. Absolutely. Um, in the meantime, while you're waiting for your case or your possible pension from the county, mm -hmm. um, that is a small amount. I've seen amounts that are much larger um, right. than that that need to be earned. So, so um, the other thing is that, um, you know, create that My Social Security account. Exactly. So that you can get your Social Security statement, and yeah. then you can check to see how many your work earnings. credits you have, right. what type of earnings you have. 
and then um, hopefully you can earn those extra credits. Now, we have to mention quickly mm -hmm. that, you know, for disability benefits, the number of credits um, is a little different. Depends on your age and when you became disabled. But for retirement benefits, generally it's 10, 10 years or 40 credits. But please visit our website because there uh, we also have a calculator for mm -hmm. Uh, for um, people who um, are in your situation. Right, it's the right. Windfall Elimination Provision Calculator, right. and it's available, of course, um, um, online. So don't forget to visit us at www.socialsecurity.gov. And also, um, don't forget that we also have a, um, here we go, uh, oh, a toll-free number, 1-800-772-1213 from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and we have um, interpreter services as well. So, um, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, you can't sleep, um, even on a weekend or something, and if you visit us on our website, <laughs> you're going to have enough information right. to read because I think everybody right. has a question for Social Security, and we want to make sure that you know that Social Security is there for you, uh, you know, um, if, to protect today and tomorrow and uh, we want to make sure that um, that you know that you have all these protections uh, not only for the worker yeah but for the family members for, as well for your entire for, family for and the, the other thing that's really uh, important mm -hmm. with setting up the my social security dot gov account is that any address changes any phone number changes if the agency or Medicare is trying to mail you some information all of those address changes, phone number changes, can be made through the website. So that way, if you've moved lately or you, you think we were supposed to mail you something and you, you've moved, uh, or even just going in just to check to see if we do have the right address, Absolutely. if we're missing an apartment or unit number, zip code is correct. Absolutely. So we can get you the information uh, that's needed. And for our last caller, um, it'd be super important, just like Myra said, to go on there and check every year for your earnings to make sure that we've captured um, the information correctly. We actually get that from the IRS, um, but you know, you know, where you worked and, you know, how much you Absolutely. made. Absolutely, yes. Um, and so a small amount of coverage, like four quarters missing, that may be something that, you know, was overlooked or, you know, an error. So we're and going that's why we say review your, your, your Social earnings Security record. statement. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We have to make the distinction for the, for those who have not uh, filed for any benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, you can uh, create a My Social Security and get your Social Security statement online. Um, and for those who are getting benefits already, you can manage your record and go online and make those uh, change of addresses, direct deposit, uh, right. a Medicare card replacement. Right. And now, um, you know, in, coming soon to Illinois, you'll be able to replace your Social Security card. I got my fingers so, crossed on that. I <laughs> so know. I know people keep <laughs> asking me about that. Right. You know, when is when are we going to be able to get that replacement Social Security card? Because mm -hmm. we really want to do it online. And Social mm -hmm. Security is always adding new features. Um, so, you know, we will keep you updated. But I do want to let you know that this is our last show. Yes, um, it is. You know, so we uh, really thank you uh, for having us, um, for tuning in, and we will be back um, um, in the next uh, quarter, um, and then uh, we'll be able to continue giving you information that is so valuable for everybody. So with that said, um, you know, DJ, thank you so much for joining um, us today, and then of course, uh, Anthony Frazier, our phone technician, thank you so much. We are a family and we're here to serve you. We're, we're so happy that you're able to join us. And don't forget that Social Security is protecting you all the time. And we want you to visit us at www.socialsecurity.gov. Thank you so much and um, have a, a great um, weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.